The Hornets on a deal worth 120 million over four years. Carry on my Hayward son. With Hayward Wayward, Boston filled its roster with point guard Jeff Teague and big man Tristan Thompson, who they hope can work the boards. Last Celtic to average 10 rebounds in a season was Al Jefferson, 06 07. Rajon Rondo was a rookie on that team. Now he's a two time champion and an Atlanta Hawk. Two year deal for a club that needed to get Trey Young some backcourt help. The Clippers agreed to a deal with Serge, Serge Ibaka, to fill the gap left by the new Laker, Montrez Harrell. Ibaka averaged a career high 15 plus points per game last season. Oh, there's no place like home, even if Toronto may not be able to play at home. Fred Van Vliet agrees to a four-year, $85 million deal, largest contract signed by an undrafted player in NBA history. And Carmelo Anthony, smelling roses, again agrees to re-sign with the Trailblazers. One-year minimum deal, Portland needs scores, and Anthony can score the basketball. Adrian Wojnarowski's phone does not have an off button and we're all better because of it. All right, NBA, how, how does the Gordon Hayward deal go down with Charlotte? Uh, Neil, in 2014, Gordon Hayward was playing with Utah. He was a restricted free agent. Michael Jordan and the Charlotte Hornets signed him to an offer sheet. Now, Utah matched it. Uh, but Gordon Hayward, his agent, Mark Bartlestein, you know, remembered uh, the effort that Charlotte made to try to get him uh, back east then. Well, they were able to pull it off this time. He had talked with a number of teams about sign and trade scenarios, including his hometown Indiana Pacers. You know, but Charlotte was able to create the salary cap space, $30 million a year to sign Hayward to, uh, as we reported, a four-year, $120 million dollar deal he wants to have the chance again to be more of, of a player who's going to impact his team his role diminished as time went on with the injuries the emergence of uh, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown in that Celtic front court all right so when Boston knows hey Hayward's not coming back where does their focus turn well they got a commitment today from Tristan Thompson free agent center from Cleveland, who they had talked on and off again about trading for for a number of years. But, you know, listen, to get the money off of their cap with Gordon Hayward this year certainly allows them some flexibility to do some things. While it was it was nice to have Hayward at $30 million a year, it didn't exactly financially balance out their roster to have that much money all tied into one position on the team. All right, Rondo's got a couple rings, one with the Celtics, one with the Lakers. Now, now he's a hawk. What's he bring to Atlanta? Yeah, he goes there two years, $15 million. And this is a, a, an Atlanta team that wants to get tougher. They want to get more physical. They want to get better defensively. You know, they can score the ball uh, built around Trey Young. Rondo can play a leadership role on a very young team and a team that, that hopes, I'm not sure they're a playoff team this year, but they want to get closer to the postseason and start competing in the East uh, you know, to, play, uh, to play in the playoffs. When it comes to the NBA, nobody works harder, nobody does it better. We had a free agency frenzy, at least that's what the transition says. The Lakers added the reigning sixth man of the year. They agreed to terms with free agent big man Montrezl Harrell. He's going to play his home games at the same place that he did after spending the last three seasons with the Clippers. As for those Lakers, they agree with Harold come not long after Dwight Howard agreed to a one-year deal with the 76ers. Our Bobby Marks reports that that deal is for the veteran minimum exception of $2.6 million. Kings guard De'Aaron Fox has agreed to a max extension worth at least $163 million over five years. His agent told Bobby Marks he was the number five overall pick out of Kentucky in 2017. Veteran sharpshooting forward Danilo Gallinari finalizing a three-year, $61.5 million deal with the Atlanta Hawks. His agent of CAA Sports tells ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski and Stephen Adams is headed to New Orleans as part of the Drew Holiday trade. Adams averaged almost 11 points and just over nine rebounds last season for Oklahoma City. As for a few of the other deals, that got done in the NBA. The Jazz reached agreements with both Jordan Clarkson and Derek Favors, who will be returning to Utah. Joe Harris is staying with the Nets after signing a four-year, $75 million deal. And Mason Plumlee is headed to the Pistons. His deal, Randy, for three years and $25 million. All right, I'll thank you. Woj is with us all morning here on SportsCenter AM. And Woj, let's talk about this Montrez yeah. Harrell deal. A surprise, even to Patrick Beverly, who tweeted, what? And then a couple of choice emojis here. So fun for his soon-to-be former teammate. How did this deal come together? Well, after Dwight Howard surprised the Lakers, uh, took that offer in Philadelphia, uh, Montrez Harrell needed a home. 
and the Lakers moved in, offered him their full mid-level exception. So now he'll go from uh, being, you know, that six, playing that six-man role in with the Clippers to perhaps now the starting center for the Lakers. That's one heck of a lineup they're building, uh, continuing to build with the Lakers there. And one deal that uh, L told us about is the Drew Holiday deal and how Steven Adams moves to the Pelicans as a part of that. What more can you tell us about uh, behind the scenes with a move like this? Well, you've seen now Oklahoma City has moved toward a full rebuild. You know, they traded Chris Paul. Uh, Danilo Gallinari is reported is going to Atlanta. And now Steven Adams, one of the most popular players uh, in Oklahoma City's, you know, league history. Uh, he'll go now with a year left on his contract. Uh, the Thunder get something for him. They get a first-round pick via Denver as part of that larger deal, a couple second-round picks. And Steven Adams will anchor uh, that back line for Stan Van Gundy in New Orleans with a lot of young players, few vet better uh, influences, locker room, and a player who can still uh, play at a very high level. Talk about building a culture. He's a guy who yeah. can do that there for Stan Van Gundy. That's Adrian Wojnarowski with the very latest. He'll be with us all morning on NBA Free Agency. Every hero need a steam music. Sit on the throne and you can never move it. I hear my destiny is calling. So say hello, so say hello to the champion. Say hello, say hello. All these winds starting to feel spiritual. They did that is magic. Welcome to the late show. I be King Jane version when I'm on the West Coast. So say hello to the champ. We just want our respect. Our organization want their respect. Laker Nation want their respect. And I want my damn respect, too. They say hello to the champ. I'm still trying to figure out who doesn't respect LeBron James. I don't. The defending champion <laughs> Lakers have been active in free agency so far. LA's already added former Clippers big man Montrez Harrell. They brought in Wesley Matthews. Uh, Dwight Howard, there, there have been some additions and some subtractions. Dwight Howard's gone. He left LA. He's going on to Philly to join the Sixers on a one-year deal worth a veteran's minimum exception of $2.6 million. And the Lakers are still waiting to get a commitment from Anthony Davis. Davis is on, of course, to eventually agree on a deal with the Lakers. But he said he just wants to take some time to sort of look at the details because it is going to be, you would assume, a significant extension. With that, our NBA front office insider Bobby Marks is joining us now. How is this Lakers roster already so different than the one that just won a championship a month ago? Yeah, rarely do you see a Laker team that just won a championship totally flip over their, their roster. And this is the team that left us in, in uh, mid-October in here. And this is what they did last night and earlier in the week. Manchez Harrell, he goes in and replaces. Come on. We're not going to. Look, it's the Dwight Deep. We're it's not going like, to. No do, one's replacing thing, me. I think, I, L, I think what we did was, I think we broke it last night. <laughs> I think we something. broke this last night. So what we're going to do is we're just going to explain yeah. it to Montrez Harrell goes in with Dwight, okay. Dwight Howard. Dennis Schroeder replaces Rajon Rondo. Mm -hmm. Wesley Matthews replaces Contavious Caldwell Pope. So we totally flipped over this roster. And what it does to next, as you can see, They've got six roster spots. Okay. We're going to do some early Saturday morning math here. All right. All right. Oh you ready? Oh, no. Contavious Caldwell Pope. Okay. You don't see him on there. Right. Okay. The most they can pay him is $12 million All right. to be able to stay under the hard cap. What's next after that? All minimum exceptions here. So it's basically their choice is going to be Contavious Caldwell Pope and four minimums or they can sign five players to the minimum exception. They're a little bit below the cap, the, the, uh, the luxury tax here. So they still have some options, but now it's kind of just some bargain shopping with this roster. But yeah, as I said, Anthony Davis is next, filling out the roster, but Rob Palenka has totally flipped this roster from the, what we saw in, uh, in October. Is that, a, is that a good thing? I mean, so long as they have their core piece, like you still think that they have what they need intact to, to, to repeat potentially? Hey. Right. If you have 